Hi, this is Greg Johnson with Blue Book Services, and I'm here today with Mike Spinozola, who is president of Diversified Restaurant Systems, and he's also a board member of the Center for Produce Safety, and he is the subject of a column this month, and we talk about uh, verification and how important that is in food safety. So, Mike, I'll start off by asking you um, how CPS has worked with your company and your growers on food safety and how important that's been. Well, thanks, Greg. So far, you know, up for the last several years, CPS has been a go-to trusted resource for us, for us and the Subway team that we have for food safety and quality. So more than that, it has been a source for all of our supply chain. So we have many suppliers and uh, growers that have a place to go. CPS is a place to go to find research that uh, might help them improve their processes and systems. Also, CPS offers that's the symposium that we can all gather and share our learnings. So what have been some of the keys to getting growers to buy into verification and audits? Well, once again, the Subway team has very strict requirements and verification programs and audits are, are the, a big part of it. With our large uh, buying program, we, we are a very big motivator for our growers to be able to meet our standards. All of our growers, our suppliers have had a full buy-in of the level of requirements that we have. And it's important that everybody is continuously looking for more and more resources to improve their programs. I think other chains, retail and other food service, also are aligned with the same focus programs that we have. So it together we are driving the industry forward with better programs and higher standards. Mike, I noticed in the column, there's an example of a specific instance where CPS research led to a change in the way growers uh, do some of their processes. The, the example in the column was finding out that vinyl gloves were a lot safer than using latex gloves. Do you find that it's something, something that specific is something that really hits at home to the growers you work with, uh, with the importance of food safety? Well, I think this is just one example of taking a learning bringing it to our supply chain. We have several meetings through the year, every year with suppliers and grower partners and sharing something that we've learned, bringing it to them, having them drive it down into their supply chain and finding improvements and put them into their SOPs if this is what's necessary for improvements. We do this a lot and hopefully what it does do is it drives our suppliers and growers to let's say CPS for science-based data, and they can bring it to us versus us finding it first. I know that CPS's big goal is, is finding actual things that lead to food safety. Are you optimistic that CPS is accomplishing this? Oh, I think they're accomplishing it. And since the beginning, they have made great strides and have helped the industry tremendously. And I'm, I'm real proud to be part of the board and I believe that our supplier network, as well as the whole industry, has improved it in order to get better, safer food to our consumers that are, are out there for produce. So it's, it's been a very good thing. Well, I certainly agree. We'll wrap it up with that, Mike, and I thank you for your time today and look forward to working with you more with uh, CPS. Well, thank you, Greg.